In this video, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about the ICT fair value gap. Now, I know a lot of you cannot sit through the long three and a half hour long ICT videos and that is exactly why I'm here to break it down in literally 10 minutes for you guys. And if you cannot sit through this 10 minute video, then there is no hope for you at all. And you should go back to have an average nine to five lifestyle. Now, Jumping straight into the video, I'll be teaching you guys today literally about how to use an app fair value gap and I'll also include a strategy in which you can use the fair value gap towards the end of this video. Now, without further ado, what is a fair value gap? A fair value gap is simply an imbalance of price. Okay guys, so make sure you guys are taking notes on everything I say. What is a fair value gap? It is simply imbalance, okay? When one side is offered over the other leaving a gap in price okay this is exactly what a fair value gap is now make sure you guys are taking notes i'm going to be showing you live examples okay guys so without actually showing any live charts to begin with i will be showing you guys the live charts in later on in this video so huge candles like this is exactly what holds fair value gap now as you can see a big body and only one side is offered sorry offered over the other so there is only selling offered in here then buying okay guys which is obvious now does this mean that the whole candle is in balance no the candle prior to it may look something like this uh, i'm going to change the color of this let's change that to green Okay, so the candle prior to it may look like that and the candle after it may look something like this. Now, does this mean that this whole candle has imbalance in it? No. Which area or section allows? So the candle prior, what we're going to use is the low of the candle prior to the high of the next candle. This section here is the only candle that hasn't been rebalanced. Okay, guys, hasn't been rebalanced. Now, as you can see, there was selling offered here. However, there was buying offered in this section of the candle. And there was buying offered in this section of the candle. As you can see, there's a wick left here. So there was actually buying, but then selling pressure let it down. However, this area is still left with imbalance. It hasn't been rebalanced. Okay, guys, it has not been rebalanced. So that is exactly what creates a fair value gap. And that's exactly how we mark it out. Now, using it in sort of a real life scenario, how would you use this in a sort of real life scenario? So I'm actually going to be showing you guys. <coughs> sorry. sorry, excuse me. I'm going to be showing you, showing you guys a whole strategy in which you can actually use this fair value gap. So now you guys know what a fair value gap is. You guys need a strategy along with it. Now, before I do share this strategy, now this strategy has got me thousands in payouts. As you can see, it has 500 payout from FTMO. We also had um, another payout for, as I have scroll down here, from funding pips seven thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars now in this free telegram i share tons of trade breakdowns tons of content that's going to be coming out and whoever comes from youtube will get an absolutely free hft pass we will pass 100k 200k 50k prop firm challenge for you for completely free in celebration of our rapid growth and my recent payouts now a lot of free value in here as you can see i was just in the buy recently as well so much free value in here so much going on here that if you join you will learn so much completely free doesn't even take two seconds of your time so do remember to join that so we can jump straight back into the video for the strategy side of the video using the fair value gap now i've made a little checklist for you guys so it made it makes it a lot easier for you guys so the time is that we're actually going to be trading this strategy is from london open kill zone 2 a.m till 5 a.m now this is referring to new york time and ict does this so it just makes it easier for me to do it um, if you want to change your trading view time into new york simply click the time zone toggle down here change it to utc minus four new york or you can just convert it to your local timing so we're going to be trading London open kill zone, which is 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. New York kill zone, open kill zone from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now we're going to need a liquidity sweep, a market shift displacer, and the most important part that I'm teaching in this video is a fair value gap. You can trade this on Euro USD, GBP USD, and gold. So first things, what you're actually going to want to do is delineate your session. Now you can choose whatever one to trade. 
I do say if you do want to trade in London, don't even bother trading in New York. Don't give your profits back. So, for example, say we trade in uh, London Open Kill Zone. It's going to be from 2 a.m. till 5 a.m. So, let's mark out till 5 a.m. Okay, guys? Simple as that. So, what you're actually going to be doing here is... Ooh, sorry. So... Prior to your session starting, you're going to let price do exactly what it wants, okay? So whether it goes up, down, sideways, is not does not matter to you. You don't have a care in the world, okay, guys? So simply let price do exactly what it wants. Now, when it does come to your session starting, let me just change this to black. What you're going to want to do is mark out your liquidity areas. Now, if you don't know what li li liquidity is, go onto our YouTube and we do teach this um, on our channel. So in the shortest time, it's going to be just significant highs and lows. So we have this high. And then we can say we've got this significant low. Now, what you want to do is simply just wait for price to do its thing. Now, when it comes to your session starting, you want to wait for either side, one of your liquidity sides to be taken out, either buy side or sell side. Now, above buy side liquidity, what is there? Sell stops. Below sell side liquidity, what is there? Buy stops. So if buy side liquidity gets taken, we're looking for sells. If sell side liquidity gets taken, we're looking for buys. So for example, price does what it wants and it goes and takes buy side liquidity. Now, when it takes buy side liquidity, this is where you're gonna drop from your 15 minute time frame where you are doing your um, your analysis to a five minute time frame. okay guys? So jump into the five minute time frame. Now, what are you looking for after the liquidity sweep? A market structure shift. So therefore, we wait for a market structure shift. Boom, we have our market structure shift. Now, the important part is we have a displacement candle within that market share shift we don't just want small little candles breaking the low we want displacement candles big body with big energetic candles going to the downside that's what displacement candle is once you get that simply mark out the fair value gap that's been left behind and the retracement back to that fair value gap is where you're going to be looking for entries and then targeting external liquidity and just like that that's how easy this liquidity is using fair value gap. I'll be showing you guys in a live, cha live chart in a second as well. So that's going to be the um, strategy side. I'll be showing you guys in live charts right now. We're doing it in the New York open kill zone. So first things first, we're going to mark our liquidity. So we have this significant high. Mark that out. And we also have the significant low being liquidity. Mark that out. Set these as liquidity. Done. So now we're just waiting for New York to start and one of them gets swept. Okay, so you see that this liquidity error has been swept. However, our New York session hasn't started. Simply what you can do is if it's been swept just prior, literally about 30 minutes prior to New York opening and starting, you can still seek a entry, okay? If it's still valid because we've just had the market structure shift in our session if we have a market shift in our session then you can seek for that entry so that being said liquidity had prior already been taken and within our session we are getting the market shift perfect we can still trade this setup now this low here is our low now we want to seek a market shift but we don't just want a market shift we want displacement through it now do we get displacement through it yes we do big body candles to the downside break in that now once we have our market shift, remember you jump into the five minute time frame. Um, sorry, you jump into the five minute time frame after liquidity gets taken from the 15. So in our five minute market shift, done. Now, mark out your fair value gap. Also remember you need a displacement and we've already had that. Mark out your fair value gap. What is this? From this candle to this candle is a fair value gap. Now we have a retracement in. It's as simple as executing. You can put a limit if you want, or you can just be manually doing it. Have stops just above your fair value gap area, and then you can target external liquidity. Uh, for example, we can go for a nice one to three here. And as you see, price just drowns from that area. That's how simple this strategy is. Now, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video and it helped you guys understand fair value gaps a lot more. Remember, do join our Telegram. We share tons and tons of tons of free value. We're doing uh, tons of giveaways, so many trade ideas, so many payouts that show. And everyone who comes through YouTube, we will pass their platform for absolutely free in celebration of my most recent payout and our rapid growth. So remember, do join that, guys. We do have a mentorship for four ninety nine lifetime access. That doesn't. Do you even spend that much on dinner nowadays? 
absolutely free and this is our out on uh, telegram if you do want to message us zediman admin do drop us a message and if you um did enjoy this video do give a thumbs up or comment if you need any help and i will get back to everyone here